What are you doing? He steals everything. Food. Plates. What are you doing? There was a time when he actually stole the whole chicken. It went in a nanosecond. What are you doing? You've just stolen that again. One place Floyd's inability to wait is most evident is the kitchen. And next up, Victoria wants to see his bad table manners firsthand. I'd like to see this in action. So this is just generally what you would do. Oh, yep. no shame. No yeah. shame at all. Absolutely. Yeah. So within a second, within a second. Oh, he takes it off into his cage. All right. Let's see what we can do. OK? Yep. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right. So I'm coming here. I want you guys to sort of settle over there. OK. So here's what I want to do. So I'm going to be the keeper of the food. Right. He already smells this. Yeah, he's he seen sees it. He sees it and he smells it. I want him to look at the food and to look away at you or on the floor. Yes. OK? So. Here we go. If he comes towards the food... When Floyd moves towards the food, Sarah must get his attention by gently tapping him on his side and, and showing him that she has food in her hand. That's it. Good. By repeating this action, she's showing Floyd if he makes the decision to turn away from the food on Good. the table, he's guaranteed a reward. Now wait for him to look away, because he looked at the food and looked away. Wait for him to do that. Yep. Did it again? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's it. Take a step. Good. Love it. You can work on him like that. Ooh, fantastic. Looking at it. You could see him thinking. You could literally see him. The longest he's ever looked at food <laughs> and not made any move towards it. That, since we've had him. Floyd has done well to avoid temptation, but now it's time to up the ante with food with even more flavour. Back of salami and cheese. I'm quicker than he is. Well done. Nicely managed. It's nothing. It's gone. No. Down. That's why you're going to need this lead. It's mm -hmm. really important. We don't want him to be successful with this. It's hard now because with salami and cheese. Strong, oh, strong flavour. Did it. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, this is how you practice. Yep. Then you can gradually add some stuff that is actually cooked. That's good. You've got a lot of homework to do. We have got loads of homework to do. I can't believe how much he picked that up, can you? And how quickly. The f you could see him, his mind ticking over and you could see him trying to make the right decision. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.